What's up YouTube? This is Manuel and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today we're gonna be doing another unboxing. This time it's quite an old pair, um, but I got it early this year. This is the Ultra Boost 19, and this comes from the I think the second wave of the colorways that they released early this year. So stick around. I love the Ultra Boost. It is definitely one of the most comfortable sneakers available. I only have one Ultra Boost from the original versions, and I'm not sure if it's one, two, three, or four, but this is my first Ultra Boost that I, I got. Um, I was actually a late bloomer with Ultra Boost. I was just intrigued on how it feels, so that's why I got this pair. So uh, yeah, this is the Ultra Boost. I think it's the, it's called the Gold Medal or yeah something about gold so yeah this is really nice uh it was really comfortable although i want to say that um this ultra boots are quite hot on feet i mean there's not much breathability even though it's a prime knit um, i feel like my feet are sweating all the time whenever i wear this one but then the ultra boost 19 came and i got this pair sorry it's quite dirty um, this is the black pixel colorway. This is one of the first uh, Ultra Boost 19 that they ever released. Um, this one I really love. Uh, it's more breathable compared to the original Ultra Boost. And for me personally, it is more comfortable. The prime net is just right, it's not too thick. There's a lot of breathing room on these uh, sneakers. Although a lot of people are hating on the design because they got used to the original design of the Ultra Boost, which it is really, really nice. But um, for me, I prefer the Ultra Boost 19, not only because of aesthetics. I mean, this one was quite plain, especially this three stripes. But the new newer colorways or the, the new colorways that they released recently are actually nice. I'm planning to get another one, but um, let me see. Uh, still have a lot of sneakers to purchase, but yeah, definitely this is one of my favorites. So that's why I bought another one, and I'm gonna open it now. So guys, let's open this it's tissue paper with Adidas, or actually it's Boost, as you can see, and this is the pair. So here it is, the Ultra Boost 19 and the colorway is actually called Car Black Active Red. So as you can see, this Ultra Boost haven't been worn yet. Actually, I, I forgot to unbox this. This is uh, one of the sneakers that I bought early this year, as I mentioned earlier, but I honestly forgot about it. And then as I was uh, checking on the sneakers that I have, then I saw these sneakers. So might as well do an unboxing and uh, share it with you guys. Now, what I like about these sneakers is that it's a different colorway from the one I have previously, um, obviously, but it's white or actually it's, yeah, it, it is white with hints of uh, pink. It's white and black with hints of pink. I like the top of this um, heel counter. Uh, it's a neon pink if I'm not mistaken. And of course, the Ultra Boosts are really, really nice, very comfortable, definitely one of the most comfortable sneakers available right now that anyone can buy. But this sneaker is actually, I won't really recommend it for running. If it's for casual running or jogging, this is a good sneaker. But if you're into a serious running or hardcore running maybe you should opt for uh, more performance based sneakers but this one is more of i think uh, a lifestyle where you can wear every day um, on your daily grind and 
keeps your feet comfortable. So let's look closer on the sneakers. So on the upper is your prime knit material all over. This one you have a black and white prime knit with hints of red and pink. On the medial side you have this uh, plastic material with uh, three, three stripe branding which a lot of people hate. I, I even saw a video I think it's from Hess Kicks where, where he took off these um, I don't, I don't even know what's this called um, where the shoelaces are attached so it looks nice but I think there's no more uh, support once you take off this because this serves as your support on the heel you have this TPU material uh, it's sort of like a lining on the back which is I really love because I like the design of it compared to the original Ultra Boost I like the way they did it Although the support is not as stiff as the original Ultra Boost because this is just a lining. However, the ankle and heel area on this Ultra Boost are actually a bit higher than the original Ultra Boost. I feel more supported when I wear the Ultra Boost 19 compared to the Ultra Boost, the original Ultra Boost. You also have your Ultra Boost branding at the back. And then moving on to the midsole, you have your typical Ultra Boost 19 midsole in white. This one is really, really nice because it's, it has like an extra half an inch thicker than the original Ultra Boost. As you can see, it's quite thick. This is, I think, one and a half inch on the heel and about half an inch on the forefoot. So this one gives you a lot of comfort while you wear them. And it doesn't bottom out like the original Ultra Boost because a lot of people are saying, I mean, mine, haven't bottomed out yet, but um, a lot of people are saying that the original Ultra Boost bottoms out easily. Well, I don't think you will have a problem with the Ultra Boost 19s because it's quite thick. Now, moving to the outsole, you have your Continental outsole in white, and of course, your uh, Adidas torsion in the middle. Now, do I recommend you guys to purchase the Ultra Boost 19s? I mean, it's quite steep, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Here in the Philippines, it's it's priced over 10,000 pesos for one pair. But I'm sure because a lot of these sneakers are still sitting on shelves. So definitely when there's discounts and you know there's a end of season sales, these sneakers will definitely, the prices of these sneakers will definitely go down. So just be patient and uh, wait for the right time to purchase these sneakers. But, but definitely these sneakers is a must-have sneakers because, because of the comfort. And once you, and a lot of people are saying, right, Boost is life. And I must agree with that. I mean, once you wear the Boost, it's quite hard to um, compare it with most of the sneakers because this is definitely one of the most comfortable sneakers available. I must admit guys, I'm not really into this colorway because of the white prime knit at the back. I know it can get dirty easily. Uh, I still prefer my dark pixel, the original colorway that I purchased. So, so I'm thinking of giving these away. What do you think guys? Should I give this away? So if we reach 1,000 likes on this video, this particular video, I'll be giving these Ultra Boost 19s, never been worn, to one of you guys. All you need to do is comment down below your IG handle and make sure that you like this video. And once we reach 1,000 likes, by Saturday next week, I'll be giving away these Ultra Boost 19s. So guys, go ahead and watch this video and share it so that we could reach 1,000 likes on this video so I can give away these. I hope you like this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you could be alerted whenever we have a video upcoming. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.